Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday. Oh, shit. Melvin's here. Melvin! What are you doing? Party in your house this morning. Holy shit. You're detailing cars out here? This is actually a pretty cool story. So like, this guy is a really, really big street racing fan channel fan. Uh, channel fan. <laughs> channel fan. <laughs> fanal Chan. Fanal fanal he's a fanal Chan. He's, he's a big fan <laughs> of street race channel. And uh, he's seen us, he's seen your videos. And he watches every one of Billy's videos. Um, and he, he hit me up and he had a, uh, he had a Ford expedition that had diesel fuel spilled in it and that was the first task and we were able to spray some jack swack stuff in it and uh kill the odor instantly he said he used like all kinds of other, other you stuff. killed a yoder odor yeah the yoder. <laughs> so now he uh so what, so much we're cleaning up his like 90 year old dad's nice f-150 that's a pretty clean truck really so, yeah it's not bad i think it's got like 140,000 miles on it or something we'll see how you do with this one stuff right here is like the trick that's what you were saying it's called carpet spotter carpet spotter carpet spotter perfect for big spots well here we go melvin you're yeah. back back in action so yeah it's pretty amazing though like i said the amount of people that follow these videos and want their stuff cleaned up now by melvin frederick the one and only the real melvin frederick we're gonna tackle this today here all right. Well, I got work to do. I got to get going. I'll try to learn how to talk by the time you get back. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is now Monday night. As you saw this morning, old Melvin was here bright and early. He had a customer drop off a truck here for him to detail. And um, he got that done while I was uh, out and about running errands. I had some errands to run today. And one of those errands was uh, a trip to jigs so billy's tires as you're about to see in this video his mickeys uh on the beadlock brand new bogart rims were about shot well i wouldn't say they were shot but for what we're doing they're they're they've run their course um they had 30 or 40 passes on them and we barely i mean barely squeaked by friday night at marion with them so today I ran into Jegs and uh, got a new set of Mickeys mounted up. Let's go get them out of the Suburban. Oh, would you look at that? God, I love those Bogarts, man. Let's get these things out of here. Oh, here we are, brand new rubby rub rubs. Brand new set of Mickey 3055 S's with tubes. Now, <laughs> I, uh, I put up a little post today on my YouTube asking people what kind of questions would they like to ask as far as tires and suspension set up and things of that nature. And I think tomorrow I'll probably try and dive into that. Um, there was a lot of good questions. And there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good answers that you guys could probably uh, get some use out of. But tonight, Billy released his video from the weekend, uh, his trip to Marion Friday night, and then Milan, Michigan, on Saturday. And uh, it, as we were up there, I took some video from my perspective of what I was doing and, and uh, what I witnessed and what, what I was thinking about. And uh, let me tell you, <laughs> uh, as a father, uh, it's just different for me. You know, it, uh, as a father and someone who's trying to help his son, things are a little bit different from my perspective. And for a long time, my perspective has kind of been, uh, I wouldn't say, 
I don't know. How do I put this? I guess it's just that I feel like there's a lot of content over the last three or four years that's been wasted because I didn't have my own channel. And so now that I do, I, I don't know. I just feel a lot different about things and I'm a little bit happier that, you know, it's not being wasted. Anyway, let's dive into this deal. We're going to start out Friday night when we left to go to Marion and we won that uh, 28 10 5 race. All right, so this is the last Marion race of the year for sure this time. You haven't won this year and you didn't win last year. Did you? A single sure race? I did win last year, yeah. I but won. this year you haven't won. I won two or three last year. I haven't won any this year. Um, I uh, I ran into Eric Manns in the final of the last one. I thought that was it, you know. He was struggling all night to make a clean pass and then he he pulled off a really, really nice pass in the finals against me and got me by about a car. Um, I uh, I'm gonna bring it home tonight. Bring you want it bad? It was Friday night. We were headed to Marion. We were all still exhausted from the trip to New Orleans. We hadn't had much sleep, and we'd been working on the truck all week trying to get it ready. The truck really should have had new tires on it before we went up there, and it was a major concern. But Billy wanted to try and get one more race out of them. We're not ones to waste anything. So it's Friday night. We're at Marion County International Raceway in LaRue, Ohio. And uh, we just got here. Billy's filling out his tech card. He's gonna warm the truck up. First round's supposed to start about seven or 7.30. Uh, it's about quarter till seven. So hopefully we didn't miss the driver's meeting or anything. Um, so we're running a little bit late, pretty tired. Worked all day today. And, you know, we had that long trip from to and from New Orleans last week and we're all just pretty tired still but we're here we're gonna see if we can do something here tonight we struggled all year at Marion it's always something we kept us out of the winter circle but we're gonna try her one more time all right so up here at Marion the left and the right lanes a little bit different the right lane, in my opinion, is better than the left by a little. The left-hand lane has some uh, cracks in the concrete that uh, cause a little bit of trouble with the left rear tire. So generally at Marion, if we are in a left lane, I'll move Billy over about a tire track and a half to the left. And what I try and do is I tell him to angle to the right just a little bit as he's pulling forward so that that way as the truck leaves he misses the cracks in that left tire track but the truck heads to the right goes right down the center of the groove after the 60 foot because the groove narrows once you get off the concrete you get onto the blacktop out there the groove's pretty narrow so you got to get back in the center of the track once you get out that way. we'll see what happens it's water burnout only tonight all right, so we're second pair left-hand lane, and we got paired up a little turbo small block Ford Fox body Mustang, local guy from down around where we live. We'll see how it goes. He's uh, kind of got a new combination he's working on right now, and he's just trying to get a feel for it. So anything can happen, but we'll give it our best shot. Okay. 
so we got through first round there. Um, 60 foot looked decent. The shock settings looked about perfect. It didn't wheelie. I don't even think I pulled a front wheel off the track. It left nice and gentle. It went right down through there, but <clears throat> it looked like out past the transition, it got a little loose. He had to drive it quite a bit. So well, we made it through first round. We'll see how we do the rest of the night. So Billy set it up to the lanes for round two. Uh, we drew a mid 60s Mustang. So uh, I believe it's a small block Ford turbo car. Um, pretty neat looking little car. We'll see how we do this time. He said that uh, he said that the truck rattled the tires a little bit. He said it was right on the edge of knocking the tires loose. Um, we were shooting for a 130 60 foot. That's about what I thought the track would hold. And it went 128 rattling the tires just a little. Billy drove through it, but he said it was on the edge. So uh, the density altitude is about 600 feet better this run than it was the last one. And the air is starting to get cold, as you can see. You kind of see my breath a little bit every once in a while. So the track's getting colder and the air is getting better. That's a recipe for looseness down past 60 feet. So Billy took a 100 RPM out of the two-step and two pounds of boost out of the back side of the track just trying to make sure we can go A to B and not get loose. It was on the edge on that first run. And now the air's a little bit better, so we'll see what happens. second round just barely that little copper colored mustang put a lick down now i mean that was a good pass for those that team but i've i've never seen that car make that fast of a pass so we'll go back here and see what billy says the 60 foot looked really good but uh i don't know it moves around a little bit in that left hand lane i think the right hand lane's a little faster but i'll go see billy see what he says all right, so we're back here at the pit. Billy said that uh, <laughs> he took power out of it and it went, and it went faster. And uh, that little Mustang laid down a lick. I thought we were beat. Uh, at 330 feet, it looked like we were done, but Billy said he got her by a car or two. And uh, he was moving around really bad, but he couldn't lift. He couldn't let off because she was right there. So Kimberly Walter, she's got a, <laughs> she's got a hammer. I was shocked. I mean, I've never seen that car go that fast. I was, that's, uh, anything can happen, guys. Anything can happen. And uh, we almost got our lunch packed there. And we're going back up for third round here in a little bit. All right, so we're headed up for a third round. He's got a little primer black 66 or 67 Chevy 2. We're first pair in the right-hand lane. This will be the first time we've been in the right lane tonight. But... I generally like the right lane here over the left. And from what I've seen tonight, if you don't overpower the right lane, the right lane's a little bit faster. So we'll see how it goes. did an incredible job here he could feel the truck had too much wheel speed and within 20 or 30 feet pedaled one time caught it let the truck recover and made a full pass knowing that if he had not done that it would have knocked the tires off on the transition so uh we made it through that round wasn't a real good pass but he did get the wind light it uh 
it knocked the tires off early in the run before 60 feet. It sounded like he pedaled it once or twice, got back in it. Still made the still made it happen, but we gotta do better than that. It's getting pretty cold and the rubber up there, they're they're prepping the track and spraying it, but it looked to me like as Billy rolled up there, his slicks were actually pulling some of the rubber up off the track. So it's just late in the year, you know, it's November. It's cold. So we got through the third round. Uh, I think that was the third round. We got through that round. Um, it was very sketchy. I felt it had a little bit of wheel speed in the 60 foot. So I gave it a quick pedal before I got to the transition because I knew if I hit that transition at 100 feet out with a little bit of wheel speed, it would have taken off and I would have had to abort the run. So I gave it a quick jab of the throttle and it caught and then I just kind of drove away slow. Um, drove away slowly. It was a good race. Um, probably got in by about a car, maybe car and a half. It's some tough competition out here tonight. This track is slick and it is cold. So um, it's gonna be anybody's race here. We're going in the semifinals. There'll be three left. Hopefully we can score a bye. My tires are getting pretty worn out. They've probably got 30, 40 passes on them. They're not looking too good. Um, I just, I hope I get the bye because I'll, I'll sit out the bye and uh, I'll save my tires for the final. We'll so we're going. coming up for the uh, semifinal. We got Ricky Palmore, uh, Fox Body Mustang, Turbo Small Block Ford on 26 inch radials. So he's at a little bit of a disadvantage here to begin with. But uh, what we're noticing is um, usually the right lane's a little faster here uh, at Marion. But tonight, we're having a little bit of trouble with uh, rubber peeling up. Let me show you. You can see that the rubber's starting to peel up off the track. It's like big black worms laying here all over the place. That's going to be tough for Ricky to deal with. I think that's why Billy knocked the tires off on that last run. That last run he made in the right-hand lane, it knocked the tire off. He pedaled it and got back in it. And it came back, luckily, and stuck. And he drove around the guy, but it makes life rough. But that's the way it goes sometimes. So luckily, we're in the left lane, and it's a little bit better than the right here tonight. So we'll see if we can't get past Ricky. He's a tough competitor. That's a fast car. But being on a 26 inch radial and in the bad lane, that's gonna to be tough for him. As I was backing Billy up in his tracks for the semifinal against Ricky, I was praying. Someone had come out on the track with a little Ford Ranger that had sandbags in the bed and dumped sand accidentally all the way down the left-hand lane. Very unnerving for a father to sit there and watch his son squaring up against one of the fastest cars on the property. He's going to have to run down a lane that just got covered in sand and grit. But that's what we do. The track crew did an awesome job cleaning it up. Okay. Good. What happened? To be honest with you, I looked over at 500 feet to see where he was at, and about that same time, it started to move, and I was looking to my right, and it got, it was worse than it should have been because I was looking over. All right, listen, quit looking over. It's cold out here. Yeah. Okay, you scared me to death. Okay, so we're in the final with Roger Ball. Small block Ford, turbo Mustang, it's fast. 
he's a good friend of ours. Um, I've been watching Roger tonight and I don't know that I've seen him make a full pass yet where he hasn't had to pedal. And uh, I think he's on a radial. And this is definitely not the night to be on a radial at Marion, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, the right lane I feel is definitely worse due to the, the rubber peeling up off the track in the right hand lane. I, I really feel like that's what got Ricky. If it wasn't for that, Ricky probably would have ate our lunch, but um, we're just going to do our best. We'll have to see what lane we get. And uh, Billy did loosen the front shocks one click on that pass. And uh, I could definitely watch the front end come up a little faster. And it just, just kind of carried the front wheels real gently on that pass. Uh, 60 foot was good, but on down track it got a little sketchy so we'll see what we can do if we get left hand lane i feel really good about it if we get right hand lane we're gonna we're probably gonna struggle a little bit against roger i'm not gonna lie it's gonna come down to lane choice i figure between billy and roger we'll see how it goes all right so i'm gonna go up and do chip draw for billy basically it's just lane choice billy's uh, pulling the hood off the truck and just kind of checking over everything real good um I think he's worried about the valve covers. They might be leaking a little bit. I don't know. He wants to look at it. So anyway, this chip draw is probably going to seal our fate, most likely. If we get the right lane, it's going to be tough on us. So Roger's car is pretty fast. If he can make a lick down that left-hand lane, it's going to be really tough on us. Okay, so. Um, Roger said he didn't care which lane, so I went and uh, I got left lane for Billy. So we're sitting pretty decent, at least I think we are. Um, the left lane's starting to peel a little rubber up in the tire track right now, kind of like the right, but not nearly as bad. So we're, you know, I think we're in good shape, but Roger's got a fast car. If he can get over those rubber marbles out there, It'll be on like Donkey Kong. We'll see how it goes. Give me one more pass, old girl. One more pass. for the final round i'm backing billy in his tracks and i'm saying my prayers praying to god to protect my son praying to god these tires would last one more pass praying to god that the truck would make it down without getting loose this time roger's a tough competitor and we've raced him a, a lot and billy wanted to win this race really bad so i knew he'd run this truck right on the ragged edge if he had to and that's where Billy lives most of the time, right on the ragged edge. did it finally got a win at marion guffy's here with us he's sneaking up behind me back here someplace there he is 
Say hi, Guffy. What's up? You sneaking up behind me? You're always sneaking up behind me. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to get in the picture with us. Huh? I'm being funny and extra. Yeah, he's always talking shit to me, too. So we're going to get everybody in the picture, and uh, we're going to load up and go to IHOP and get something to eat. Starving. Tired. We got to get up early in the morning, go to Milan, switch tires. Billy's tires are shot. They're they're about done. He should have put new tires on it before we come up here. He's got them, but just tried to run it one more one more race on these tires. We got it done. Thank you for staying hooked. Oh man. Please, just one more one pass more on these tires. <laughs> I probably got 40 on them. Oh, yeah. I can say that. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. No, that's awesome.